I'd already decided it was going to be my last night in Max's village. I was sorry to be leaving, but I was restless again. Beware! The day grows dark, and demons stalk the gap by night. Harsh old woman, stop your superstitious nonsense. Besides, this is the best time of day for fishing, eh, Marlo? Yes, Dad. Look, Foster, I use these broken sensors to make a fish alarm. It detects the fish before it bites. Nice work, Milo. Milo was just like me as a boy, and the tech skills I'd taught him would help the village after I left. Do you really have to go, Foster? How can we ever pay you back for all you've done? It's been my pleasure, Max. One of Anita's pies will be payment enough. I owed the Gap folks so much. My first tribe fostered me when I was orphaned all those years ago. They taught me how to recycle tech scavenged from city dumps. Soon, I even built myself a playmate. I'm your friend. Call me Joe. Joey. <laughs> Joey and I were always together. As I grew, I upgraded him. He became the best friend I ever had. But then... Foster! Foster, wake up! The sensors detect a fish! It's a big one! What the...? It was no fish. Max, keep back! Bolo! Dad! What are they? Max! Drop him, you... Milo had gone, the machine too, but its riders had left something behind. Max? Milo? What's happened, Foster? Where's my son? Max? Max? Oh, no! I told them! I told them there were demons stalking the dark! The stalker that attacked us was a machine, not a demon. Please, Foster, I don't understand. What... what happened? I told Anita everything I could, though I knew very little. Max was barely conscious. I could only hope that with Anita's loving care, he would recover. As for me, I had to follow Milo and his captors immediately. I'll bring Milo home, Anita. I promise. Thank you, Foster. I know you will. Dawn was breaking as I left the village. The featureless wastes of the gap stretched away from me. Night followed day, then day dawned once more. Time lost meaning as the tracks beckoned me ever forward. Determination had long replaced sadness. Whatever it took, I would find Milo. The tracks were barely visible now, blurred by the wind. But I was sure I'd reach their destination soon. Then I saw the thing I feared the most approaching. Sandstorm. I battled forward, but now could only guess that my direction was correct. I decided to save my energy and sank into an exhausted sleep. Maybe the old woman was right. Maybe demons did stalk the gap. For as it shrieked and thundered around me, the storm brought back my nightmare once more. Union City security was attacking. As my tribe screamed in terror, I salvaged Joey's motherboard. Taken captive, I couldn't save my village. But I survived when the security copter crashed, entering Union City. On the run, I soon got Joey working. Upgraded yet again, 
he helped me overthrow the evil that ran the city. As I left, I told him to make the citizens happy. Union City was no place for me. I wanted to be where I could do most good, helping the scattered people of the Gap. I woke to find the storm had passed. But not without finishing its cruel work. The tracks were gone. I was lost, and so, I feared, was Milo. Then, I heard them. Gang-gang birds. Scavengers. And in this wasteland, that meant only one thing. People. Despair turned to hope. I was sure that if I could find where the stalker had gone, I would find Milo. Then, in the distance, I saw a girl crouching over a body. The girl was holding a device to the lifeless hand. Hey, excuse me. Ah. Who the hell are you? I'm searching for a vehicle that... Ah. Ah. Ah, no! Damn birds! Wait, I just... Whatever that device was, the bird had it now. The girl had been doing something to the guy's hand. I wondered what. He'd clearly been dead for days. The logo. I'd seen it before. On the androids that had taken Milo. The girl was my only lead. I had to follow her. Over the years, I'd heard rumors of how the city had thrived since I'd left Joey in charge. I was finally going to see for myself. Welcome, unregistered Gaplander. Well, hi. And you are? Community Welfare Droid 2CU at your service. To commence your Union City registration, please make your way to the immigration terminal. That's okay, I'm not here to register. I'm looking for... If you're looking for the immigration terminal, it's right over there. Thank you. K-1 
Can you help me find a missing kid? You want to file a missing persons report? Go register. I've never seen a droid like you. And I've never seen a Gaplander like you. I bet. And what is it you do? I tell Gaplanders like you to visit the immigration terminal and register. Let me know how that goes. So how do I register? Easy. Just go to the immigration terminal and you'll get a U-chip for your temporary ID. The correct route is indicated by these signs. Sounds easy. It is. Without it, you won't be able to interact with any of the Minos devices in this area. What's this Minos you mentioned? Minos is the interconnected computer system that is everywhere and controls everything. Everything? That sounds very similar to Link. For the convenience of all citizens. And, word to the wise, no U-chip, no access to the Minos devices. Not even the vending machines. So go register! I'm looking for a vehicle that maybe came this way. A vehicle? Well, this is a freight entrance. So, you're in the right place. Right. I need to find a boy called Milo. He was... What you need to find is the immigration terminal. It's right over there. I'll be going now. Pleasure. How can I be of assistance? There was a strange smell. I reminded myself of the collective noun, a murder of gang gangs. Those birds weren't going to let me anywhere near the back of the truck. Whatever it was trying to detect, I didn't have one. Whatever it was trying to detect, I didn't have one. We'll show you a custom message. It was a statue of my friend Joey. I couldn't imagine why they would have erected it. If Milo had been taken this way, I was sure Joey would help me find him. I needed to find someone around here who'd seen the stalker. Whatever it was trying to detect, I didn't have one. Whatever it was trying to detect, I didn't have one. I guess this was the immigration terminal. I guess this was the immigration terminal. Welcome to the Union City Registration Terminal. Please place your hand below to receive your U-chip implant. Ouch! A U-chip had been implanted into the palm of my hand. I wasn't sure how it was going to help me.
Enjoy this little piece of happiness, courtesy of Minos. The machine ejected a garish, beclowned can of soda labeled Spankles. You are currently at your maximum allotted Spankles allowance. Have a nice day. Apologies, you are not permitted Spankles at this time. It appeared that they didn't give free cans of soda to just anyone. A makeshift workbench had been set up. Its structural integrity seemed over-reliant on some old deflated tires. Hey, kid. Hey, weird guy. My name's not weird guy. I'm Pixel. It's easy to remember because it rhymes with pickle. So it does. I'm Foster. I'll remember that easy, because your name rhymes with fossil and you're old. Thanks, kid. I'm looking for a boy about your age named Milo, who may have come through here. You're asking the right guy? I remember every face that's come through here since I was a little kid. Yeah? How many's that? Like, at least 12. How recently are we talking? Sometime over the past couple of nights. Oh, didn't know. Haven't seen no kids. What's wrong with the roundabout? It sucks. Stupid Mr. Hobsworth put a chain on it. He said it was for safety. Then he dropped the chain on his foot. <laughs> Did a vehicle come through here recently? Maybe. How recently is recently? Like two nights ago? Oh, then definitely no. But wait, two nights ago? My brother, Voxel, he saw this giant monster. What kind of monster? Like a totally huge, but not real one. Huge, but not real? I mean, Voxel says it's totally huge, and Ember says it's not real. Well, which is it? I don't know what to believe. Who's Voxel? My brother, remember? Can I talk to him? I guess, but he's not as friendly or helpful as me. Real question is, will he talk to you? He's been hiding for like two days now. Won't speak to nobody but me. Can you tell me where to find him? Maybe he'll talk to me. Nuh uh. You gotta earn that information. I don't know if I can trust you right now. See you around. Call it if you need anything. A sturdy chain tethered the roundabout to the ground. recognized the girl. She was the one who'd run away from me earlier. Hey, excuse me. Hello? You! Me what? You're the guy in the desert. And you're the girl with the corpse. Okay, first of all, that guy was dead long before I got there. 
And second of all, it's your fault Big Steve stole my date. Lost your what? To who? Do you realize how much potential trade you cost me? Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ugh. I trade. I'm a trader. Name's Ember. What were you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? Mister, are you looking to trade something or what? Trade? Trade, you know, tech, gadgets, knickknacks from the gap or the city. That's what I do. I collect stuff, sell stuff, trade stuff. Only, since you're interfering, let Big Steve fly off with my deet, it'll be a while before I can make proper trades again. Now excuse me. What's a deet? My deet, man. D-T-T. -T, data transfer tool. Deet. What's the deed for? Duh, transferring data. That's what I was doing with that dead fella. Transferring his citizen ID for trading, yeah? You distracted me and Big Steve nabbed it and flew off. Like I said, thanks. I just need to know if you've seen a missing kid come this way. You're looking in the wrong place. Only boys around here are Pixel and Voxel, and the only thing they're missing is a few screws. Tell me about this deet. Simple. I collect IDs and I use the deet to swap them. At least I did, until Big Steve grabbed it. Who's Big Steve? You see all these birds all over the place? Big Steve's the purple one, with a beak full of my deet. What do you trade? Like I said, sometimes people from outside want stuff from the inside. Sometimes people from inside want stuff from the outside. Second one doesn't happen very often since inside's got, like, everything and free. But it happens. Suppose a guy from outside wanted to get inside. Ah, my most popular item. Until Big Steve took my date, that is. Did you see a strange vehicle come through this way? Strange? You mean like that stinky one there? No, this one had... legs. Not seen anything like that. Maybe you didn't either, crazy guy. I'm not crazy. Sure you're not. That's all for now. Thanks. Anytime. Oh wait, no. Come back if you want to talk business. For someone with a business interest in dead bodies, she seemed pretty normal. How can I be of assistance? Excuse me. Greetings, registered Gaplander. Say that again, would you? Registered Gaplander. Thanks. Wasn't so hard, was it? Okay. I'm looking for a young boy that's been kidnapped. Don't worry, we'll find him. Is he a citizen? No, he's a Gaplander. Ah, well, unregistered Gaplanders cannot enter Union City. Therefore, I cannot help. I need to find a vehicle. There are no personal vehicles in Union City. No, it's one that I followed here from across the desert. It's got four giant metal legs. There are no such vehicles registered with Union City. Oh yeah? It definitely came this way. Kidnapped a child from my village. Only Union City citizens can file missing persons reports. I'll be going now. Was great meeting you. There was something strange about the water. And there was an unmistakable smell of ozone. Up close, I could see the water was holographically concealing... an electric fence?
He was a scruffy looking technician. Excuse me. Oh, hello, visitor. What's up with your bollard? Maybe I can help. <laughs> you? Sure. Hey, listen, Mr. Gaplander. It's totally cute that you want to help. But this mechanism's a teeny bit more advanced than what you're used to. You'd be surprised. I'm pretty handy with these sorts of things. Sorry, got to get back to this bollard. It ain't gonna fix itself. One of the posts was jammed. I called upon my extensive background in engineering. Yeah, piece of cake. Dude, Council sure is shining in my direction today. Do you know how many times I've scanned this thing? The last scan must have done the trick. You see, I'm the diagnostician and tech expert around here. Name's Hobsworth. What can I do for you? Tell me about Joey. Praise Joey. Not a day goes by where I don't thank him for the happiness and prosperity he brought to Union City. Joey and I go way back. We must be talking about the same one. Well, it depends. Our Joey was kind, benevolent, generous, firm, resolute, moral, magnanimous, proactive, and a friend to all citizens alike. Does that sound like your Joey? Hmm. My Joey was more of a sarcastic pain in the... But he was my best friend. Hey, have you by any chance seen a kid come through here? Where's the little dude headed? On an adventure, is he? Oh, no. He was kidnapped. Snatched from his village. And brought this way. Oh, right. Uh, no. I, I haven't seen anything like that. Sorry. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to get back to work. Work order received. The bridge seemed to be operated by some sort of hand scanner. Work order accepted. Error. Insufficient permission. Citizen ID required. Sir, excuse me, sir. Are you... Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. No, no, I'm not selling any... A likely story. Name's Wendell. Joe Wendell. Nice to meet you. That <laughs> remains to be seen. I'm looking for a vehicle. Well, mate, today's your lucky day. This is a vehicle. No, I'm looking for a special vehicle. But Brucey is special. All he needs is his power cell and we'll be on our way. The vehicle I'm looking for had four legs and no wheels. A vehicle with legs? <laughs> Think you've got bats in your belfry, mate. I saw what I saw. It kidnapped a kid from my village. You're not the first I've heard talking about kids going missing in the Gap. But I've never seen any come through here. Listen, you haven't seen a child come through here, have you? <laughs> Pinch something of yours. No. He was kidnapped. Oh, oh, I see. Sorry to hear that. Have you asked those kids over by the playground? They've been here a lot longer than me. Your truck's power cell has drained. Aye, emptier than a politician's vows. There was a sandstorm put the bridge over yonder out of action. I was told to go park for a few hours, turned into a few days. Trying to keep the mini case cool in this heat emptied the power cell. I wasn't stingy on the aircon, mind, or the margarita blender up in the cab. A working man needs his creature comforts. Anyway, 
13.7 volts drain to naught. And they still haven't fixed that blooming bridge. And you've been sat here ever since? No choice, until they send someone out to juice up Brucey's power cell. Someone competent, I mean. Have you spoken to Hobsworth? Didn't I say someone competent? That muffin doesn't know a panhard rod from a Chapman strut. So, your truck is full of... mini knockwurst? You betcha! Mini K! Best in the gap! Even contains some real meat. You're welcome to take it on, full. Back of the truck's open, although the doors like to play silly beggars. Oh? Requires a special technique. Ritual, you could call it. Ritual? Aye. Now listen carefully. Step one, give the bumper a wallop. Step two, do a little jig. Step three, Pull the door and jerk it hard. Wallop, jig, pull. That it? That's it, lad. And remember the order. I'll leave you be. I'm fine with that. There was an empty space where the power cell should have been. Excuse me. Well, hey there, stranger. How's your day going so far? Well, I... Great, I'll bet. Anything old Hobsworth can do for you? By the way, just so you know, I'm on the clock. Yes, of course. No problem. How are things going with Wendell's power cell? It's in my office. But how long until it's charged? Uh, it's hard to say, but it's on my list. Any updates on Wendell's power cell? Not yet, but I'll get onto it soon. See you around, Hobsworth. Oh, before I forget, I really appreciate your patience back there when I was fixing the bridge. Let me thank you properly. Give me your hand. Uh, okay. There you go. Your kudos just got a boost. Thanks, I think. Keep a smile on your face. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Welcome to Union City. My name is Greta. It is my duty and pleasure to answer any questions you may have about Union City and the local area. How may I help you today? A child has been kidnapped from my village. From your village? Was the child a registered citizen of Union City? No, his name is Milo, and... Polite apology, Minos can only concern itself with registered citizens. Ah, uh, I was hoping you'd be able to help. And isn't hope a wonderful thing? In the meantime, do you have any other queries? I'm looking for a vehicle. Has anything come through here? No. You haven't seen a weird vehicle with legs instead of wheels? Polite apology. I cannot discuss the details of other visitors' vehicular movements. But this vehicle, it kidnapped a child. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Have a nice day. In Union City, sir, there is no other kind of day. One particularly large and familiar bird stood out from the rest.
Hey, Pixel. What do you need, mister? What's wrong with Voxel? Like, why is he hiding? Yeah. I told you, man. He thinks he saw a monster. Will you tell me where your brother is hiding? Maybe we can help each other out with our monster problems. Maybe. Yeah, okay. You've done me a favor. He's hiding in a bench in the garden. I told him I wouldn't tell no one, but you seem okay. See you around. Okay, I'll go. Hello, Voxel. Shh. What? My name is Foster. I've just got a few questions. <clears throat> I wanted to ask you if you've seen any monsters. <laughs> How do you know about the monster? Your brother, Pixel. Stupid, stupid Pixel. He's so stupid. Go away. Me again. Can we talk some more? Hi. I'm looking for a missing kid. He came through this way a couple of nights ago. His name is Milo. He's about Pixel's age. And my age. Have you seen him? No, I haven't seen anything. I've been in this fortress where it's safe. Safe from what? The monster. Voxel, about this monster. Truth is, I'm a monster hunter. I've been tracking a monster across the desert for days. I think he came through here. And I'm looking for someone brave enough to see it and live to tell the tale. Um, I saw it. Can you describe it? It was big and beasty, and it eats children, and I could hear the screaming, and it was fast and dark and silent. Slow down, one thing at a time. It was big. Like a giant dog. A giant dog? That sounds like what I'm after. Did you see any children? No, but I heard them. I heard kids crying inside its tummy. And where did it go? It sneaked off into the city. After that, I got in here. No way am I gonna let it get me. You've been in here for two days? Still alive, aren't I? This giant dog. Where did you see it? I was playing buzzsaws and dynamos with Pixel. I won, and he was really cross. Then, in the night, I woke up. It was totally dark. I'd heard this... sound. Like feet padding along the road. Big feet. And then I heard screams. Children's screams. I ran over here and hid in my fort. And you've been in here ever since? Yeah. I'm hungry. Any ideas on getting into the city? People go in and out of the main gate. Are you gonna go in there and kill it? Sure am. That's what monster hunters do best. Then I'm going to bring Milo and the other children back out. You will? Oh, you better take this. Thanks. What is it? A firecracker. I was going to use it to kill the monster. But you can have it. Do you know how I can get inside the city? I already said. You need to get across the river and through the big doors. What do I do with this firecracker? I don't know. Throw it at the monster. But cover your ears. 
Thanks, Voxel. Hey, you got anything to eat? I'm kind of hungry. Uh, I could keep an eye out. Mr. Hopsworth sometimes lets me have some of his lunch. He doesn't usually know that, though. Ah, understood. Voxel's giant dog sounded a lot like the stalker that had taken Milo. Now I was sure that the stalker had entered the city. There had to be a way in through the main gates. Bumper. These were not my best moves. Hobsworth. Hey, what can I do for you? This may sound like a stupid question, but how do I actually get into the city? Well, first thing would be to head over to the city gates. Uh, yes. If you got a valid ID, and just scan your U-chip, and the bridge will open. Valid for what? Now, that is a stupid question. You need a vehicle to get through the big doors there. If you have transport clearance, like that old fella with the smelly truck, you just drive up, scan your ID, and roll right onto the elevator down to the cargo bay. Do you need technical expertise to be a diagnostician? Of course. You need to know exactly where to point your scanner. See, I come to work and I pick up my scanner here and then I report the problem. My interventions are key to the smooth running of Union City. See you around, Hobsworth. Keep a smile on your face. Come on, big fella. The bird's beak looked especially vicious. One particularly large and familiar bird stood out from the rest. Come on, big fella.
Hey, me again. Hi again. So this deed, pretty valuable, huh? Oh, it's only a fundamental part of my enterprise. And the ID that's on it? You bet. That's a citizen's ID. And that would grant access into the city? You're a sharp one, ain't ya? Guess what I just found. A lot of nerve coming back here. Nope. This. What? My deed? I'll have that. Sure, but how about I give you the deed in exchange for the citizen ID that's on it? The deed for the ID? But... You wouldn't have it back if it weren't for me. It wouldn't have been stolen if it weren't for you. So we're even. <sighs> I suppose that's sort of... fair. Excellent. When do we start? Have you got a U-chip? Yes. My hand is still stinging. Right then. Let's get this over with, yeah? Pass me back my deet, hmm? Follow me over to my workbench. You ready to do this? I'm not entirely sure what this is. Oh. You want that citizen's ID, right? Yeah. What do I need to do? Cool. Just place your hand flat on the U-chip scanner. Over here on my workbench. Uh, like this? Yeah, good enough. Let me just line up the laser. Oi, keep your hand still or you'll lose it. Uh, is this gonna hurt? No more than getting the chip installed in the first place. Right, just transferring the ID now. You may feel a slight pinch. What was that? That wasn't supposed to happen? There it is again. Must be... Nothing. Must be nothing. Looks like his name was Graham. A fine, upstanding citizen. <clears throat> Graham. Got it. Good luck, citizen Graham. At last I had a citizen ID. I hoped that this was going to be my key to getting into the city. chip I'd been given here now contain this Graham guy's ID. Graham's ID was finally starting to get me places. The power cell was completely wrecked. The console seemed specialized. Power cell was completely wrecked.
miffed Mike. Beyond the charging zone? The console seemed specialized. How's things? Ah, uh, you know, same car park, different day. I'll leave you be. I'm fine with that. Error. U chip firmware outdated. Authority for vehicular access denied. <sighs> The firmware on my U-chip was out of date. I realized that I'd been sold a dud by Ember. I must say, we weren't expecting to see you here, outside the city. Guess I'm an unexpected kind of guy. Indeed. And who are you? My name is Greta. It is my duty and pleasure to answer any questions you may have about Union City and the local area. How can I be of service today? Why won't the bridge open for my ID? Hmm. Your ID appears to be in order, Citizen Graham. Said something about outdated firmware? Ah, that explains it. Your U-chip firmware is outdated. The hand scanner on the bridge was recently replaced with the latest Union City technology. When did you last update your U-chip firmware, sir? I'd say roughly never. Dear me, that is rather unorthodox. Polite suggestion, please update your U-chip firmware at the next opportunity. How can I update the firmware on my U-chip? To update your firmware, please speak to one of our technical support greeters. Greeter? Aren't you a greeter? Indeed I am. Just not the right greeter. I am not installed with firmware update software. Can't risk the Gaplanders getting access, can we, sir? Yeah, right. So the only way to update my U-chip is inside the city? That's right, sir. But I can't get into the city without the update. Exactly. Why was I given an out-of-date U-chip? Where did you obtain it? At the immigration terminal, just over there. Ah, I'm afraid that's an out-of-date U-chip dispenser. Is everything around here out-of-date? On the contrary, I'm proud to report we've just begun rolling out the latest U-chip technology in this area. In fact, the bridge is already running smoothly on a new system. Just my luck. Have a nice day. In Union City, sir, there is no other kind of day. Hello? What is it? I'm talking to Vox here. Can I ask you something? Yeah, go on. There's a problem with this ID you gave me. I tried the bridge, but it wouldn't let me through. Apparently, my U-chip is out of date. Oh, right. They had to replace the hand scanner recently. Must be running on new firmware. Much newer than the crappy U-chips from that old terminal. What happened to the old hand scanner? No idea. Why would you even ask that? I didn't take it. Shut up! Either way, the ID you gave me doesn't work. Hey, listen, guy. The ID is tip-top. It's your U-chip that's the problem. It's old. Like you. Well, have you got any newer replacements? Nuh-uh. That U-chip is in you now. It stays there. You'll need to run an update, but my guess is you can only do that inside the city. And without the update, I can't get across the bridge. 
I appear to be at an impasse. Yikes. Well, that ain't good. Could maybe hack the bridge, but... Nah. Never mind, forget I said anything. Did you say... hack? Okay. So you know how everything here runs on Minos? Minos? Surely that's not based off the old Link system. That's right, when they upgraded, they dumped the old Link tech. Smart shoes, smart toasters, smart light bulbs, smart fridges. Minos makes everything smart, smart, smart. Except the humans. <laughs> anyway, you know how Hobbsworth is always pointing his scanner at stuff? Yeah? That's his Minos scanner. Minos scanners let guys without any smarts figure out how machines work. Old Hobbsworth has all kinds of safeguards so he can't mess things up more when they break. But with a few modifications... Can you do more than just diagnose Minos machines? Much more. Could I borrow your hacker? <laughs> Is that a no? <laughs> Could I maybe trade you something for your hacker? <laughs> Honestly, probably not. Okay, so if you won't trade me for that hacker, could you make me one? For a price, and a whole lot of inconvenience. What do you mean? For starters, you need one of Hobbsworth's minor scanners. You get me one of them, and then we can talk about Nick's tips. You mean this thing? Oh, you found one already? Where'd you get it? It was just lying around in Hobbsworth's hut. He really should be more careful. Right then. Let's see what else you've got in that bag that might be worth my time, trouble, and effort. I don't know if you can use this, but how about this finger? Okay, creepy. Let me take a look. Whoa! Okay, this is some serious kit. The micro-actuators alone are worth a bundle. So it's a deal then. You'll hack this scanner, and the finger is yours. You betcha. Pleasure doing business with you. Meet me at my workbench when you're ready. All right, one ember grade Minos hacker. Thanks. So how do I use this thing? You activate scan mode, obviously. Okay, got it. Yeah, well, that's the easy part. Now follow me. how I find hidden systems. They're all over the place. There you go. One just popped into range. Okay, what do I do now? Right, so this here is a diagnostic view of Minos. Looks like it runs the vending machine. No kidding. See those task nodes? The darker ones? Yeah. Well, unlike Hobbsy's little vanilla scanner, my hacker can swap them round. So let's see how smart you are. Want to give me an infinite supply of spankles? You did it! <clears throat> You're smarter than you look. Okay, apply the hack and you'll be good to go. All right, mate. Figure the rest out yourself. Oh, and try not to do anything too stupid, eh? 